Yes, g'day guys, this is episode 8 of Miami Masterclass. My name is Ian, and we are about to run through the month of August. Um, but first of all, we've got an order of business because it's the trading deadline today, and I have made a decision that Matt Latos, we're going to get rid of him. Um, if you remember from the last episode, um, I tried to sign him to an extension. Um, he wanted 19 million a year for 10 years, which I, I mean, I wasn't going to offer that sort of money. Um, one of the uh, one of my viewers, um, Alex Murray, I believe it is, he uh, he actually said he's worth it, and he won Cy Young in his game. But um, yeah, I mean, he should have told me that before, but it didn't help. So we're going to get rid of Matt Latos because he's not he doesn't want to negotiate with us, and he's a free agent at the end of the year. Um, I don't think we're going to really make the playoffs anyway. Um, if we have a quick look at the standings. So we're six and a half games back from the Mets, which isn't a great deal. I mean, anything can happen. And we're seven and a half games back from the wild card. But I just don't think we have the ability to make that push. I mean, if you look at the wild card, you've got the Dodgers there, you've got the Cubs, you've got the Nationals. All three of them are infinitely better than us. Um, so I don't think we're going to squeeze into the wild card spot. Our biggest chance is to, to win the division. But I just don't think we've, we've got that ability. So I'm going to try and offload Latos to a, a team that's in a win-now mentality. And would you believe it, these guys, the Texas Rangers, were 37-64, and 64, the worst record in the American League, are in a win-now mentality. So if we go back to the uh, trading screen, this is what I've come up with. As you can see, Texas Rangers win now. They've got a, a very poor uh, relief core um, and starting pitchers. So I've offloaded Matt Latos, and I really like this guy, Jake Thompson. He made the step up to AAA this year and, and found the going very tough. He made eight starts, going 6-3-6 ERA, but he's, he's really good. You know, he's, got, he's still got a bit of potential there to improve his stuff, and his control could move up slightly. But he's got great stamina, doesn't hold runners, which is probably his only negative, and his change-up, of course, can do with a lot of work. But that's not a bad repertoire of, uh, of pitches there. And he's only only 21, so I, I really like this guy. But I also wanted to offload this guy, Mike Dunn. He's been playing pretty well this year. He's on uh, 2.3 million. He's a free agent um, at the end of next year. That's a lot of money. He's got very poor control, so he's a bit erratic. You know, he's if he's on if he's on point, then yeah, he's he's great. But other than that, he's not worth it. So I'm trying to get rid of these two, and I also wanted to bring in Luke Lanfear. Now I think. This is a complete steal. He's only a reliever in the Texas organization. He's in the rookie league. He's only he's going to be 20 very, very shortly. <clears throat> but he's got good stamina. Doesn't have a lot of pitches, which could, could hamper him as a actual starter. But he could be a really good long reliever, which I don't have. All my relievers have got very low stamina. And uh, <clears throat> in terms of ratings, he's got a bit of ability as well. His control could improve up, could improve dramatically, which is really what I look for. And he's still got a bit of uh, potential uh, room for improvement in the movement and stuff. So, basically, they agreed to it. I, we're, yes, I agree. This proposal works for us. So, it's done. So, it does mean we do have a couple of spots to fill up. Now, Kosar can come back up. Because we need uh, need someone in that rotation. And he's, he's not bad. He's not, not as good as uh, Latos, of course. And we also need to bring up a, a reliever to replace Mike Dunn. So Carter Caps, he can come in. So we've still got a spot. Um, I think, let's see if there's someone that, that can make the step up. Here, we've got Darnell Sweeney, shortstop. We've got a couple of shortstops already, don't we? We don't really need any more. Don Kelly, he could come up. Jordani Valdespin. What positions can he play? He can actually play out in the outfield. So Valdespin can come in to fill out the, the lineups. So <clears throat> in terms of the uh, the month of August, we don't have a lot to really worry about. We've got, um, if I can find out where we are, we've got a, obviously quite a few divisional series. We've got Atlanta, uh, the New York Mets, of course, the Phillies, the Nationals as well. Um, so this is going to be a, a real make or break month for us. Without Latos, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But if we have a look at our lineup, because we didn't actually go over this in the last one for the month of July, 
Um, everyone's been playing all right. Um, Prado, Hegavaria, and Azuna are all on cold streaks. Uh, Azuna's batting 140. That's really bad. But um, this guy, I mean, I brought him up. Justin, I still can't pronounce his name. I, I keep saying Bauer, but I don't think that's it. It's probably Bohr. Uh, Justin Bohr. He, uh, he's been playing outstanding. He's made uh, 33 starts. He's batting 331 uh, for the year. And in the last uh, month, look, he batted 329. So I'm keeping him around in first base. And he's actually keeping Mike Morse um, at bay a little bit, which, I mean, you can't complain about that, can you? Um, D. Gordon playing very well. Uh, ben Revere, he's always he's a very good uh, player. I'm glad I snatched, snatched him up. Uh, Yelich, he's probably our standout for the month behind uh, Bohr. And then, of course, Giancarlo Stanton, who's who's been playing quite well after a, a very, very slow start. Um, in terms of pitching, uh, Matt Latus was around, uh, I think he was hovering around the 4 ERA mark for uh, the month of July. Henderson Alvarez, he's having a shocker. He's 8-3-9 for the year. Um, he's, he's been pushed out of games quite early on. Uh, in terms of the relievers, Dan Haran has actually been thrown back as a reliever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in full agreement of that one. Ryan Madsen, he's got a very high ERA. Uh, other than that, no one's really stood out in that month. So for the month of, of August, what I'm actually looking at doing is uh, just just hoping that we... There you go. The trade's just been completed. So for that reason, we've lost Matt Latos, we've lost Dan, and we've now picked up Jake Thompson, who I think he's better than, better than single A, isn't he? He's definitely double A. So let's promote him up to the Jacksonville Suns. And we've got Luke Lanfear. Now, he's only been playing rookie ball. Made a few spot starts. I'll keep him in the rookie league. So they're not happy with the loss of Latos. But, you know what? I think we came out winners here because, I mean, he's going to pitch for Texas... And he's not going to do anything. He's just, he's going to leave. He's, he's their, you now he's their number one pitcher. They're totally out of contention. They're not going to be winning the division. And uh, I think we've got a good steal there. So let's try and zoom through this month. Hopefully this episode's going to be a quick one because the last two have been absolute um, half hour episodes. They've been a bit, a, bit of, a bit of a slog for you guys. So I do apologise. I don't really see too much happening here. As I think we've just lost nine on the bounce, haven't we? We've just been playing terribly. Forty nine fifty six. There you go. We finally picked up a win. But seven games out from the Mets, I can't see us uh, doing very much. Giancarlo Stan's got thirty two home runs. He's having a really good good year, and, ugh, and we've lost Ben Revere to another four months. So that's Revere's season done. Now I'd like to actually know his injury history is normal, but we've just lost him for two injuries in very quick succession which is a bit of a worry so what I'm going to do is let's throw Revere into the disabled list easy out put him on to 60 more 60 day one so we've got a, a gap now we don't have many outfielders so I'm gonna to have to promote one um, let's have a look now who can I promote I'll tell you what let's get the the AI to set up the minor leagues now, do we bring up, because we've got, where is he? Israel Soto, who's batting 259 in single A. He's a bit too young. I'm not going to be promoting him too early. Got a lot of great pitching prospects now, don't we? Um, what about Triple A? Don Kelly, Brady Shoemaker. He could possibly make the step up. Yeah, he hasn't actually played in the major. So you know what? I'm going to give Brady Shoemaker a crack. Let's see if he can uh, if he can do anything. Let's have a look for the month, actually, as we're here. So look at that. So we, we lost 10 games in a row before we uh, took two games away from the Mets. Now, Atlanta, this is the, the series that matters because obviously we're, uh, we're fighting with them as we've pushed ahead. So we're, we're still six and a half games back from the Mets. We're now nine games away from the wildcard spot, so we can still realistically win the division, even with the loss of Latos. But 
I don't like our chances, to be honest. I mean, if we can't beat the Braves comfortably, as we didn't, the, uh, the Braves beat us that time. So that's the month, and we've just lost two in a row. That's really disappointing, isn't it? Hmm. So he's found... Our scouter... Scout has found Louis Vega. Yeah, he's not... Uh, not going to set the world on fire, is he? Oops. Roberto Hernandez pitched a gem. Not much to look at, really, was there? Keep powering through the month of August, and we're yeah, yeah, we're rooted at the foot of this the table now. Perhaps that loss of uh, of of Latos, you know, has made a difference. But I, I didn't think we were going to win the uh, division anyway. I'm really looking forward to the month of September because I've got a lot of players that I want to call up. I want to give them some some major league experience for next year, uh, particularly um, like the, our new signings from Texas. I wouldn't mind just giving them a promotion. Letting them get some experience, let them sit in the dugout, even if they don't get used, which would be uh, really beneficial to them because I want to be keeping all these players um, for future. I want, I don't want them to lose them to arbitration um, when they've done their their six years. So I'd like to keep them around the club for as long as possible, and hopefully um, on such a low wage on what is it, five hundred thousand, five hundred seven thousand? That'd be fantastic. As it looks like the month of August isn't going to be fantastic for the Miami Marlins. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone's got 58 wins bar the Mets. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. So Brandon Hill, he hit for a cycle in the Rookie League. He's batting 286. I'm really impressed with that. And then we've also... Oh, there you go. So our Gulf Coast League has just won the. Is that won the div division? Yeah, there you go. Won the division. Ryan Mountcastle. He was our first overall pick. He just went three three nine for the year. That's that's really good. Davis Vayner. I picked him up as well. He's pitching very very well. I think I did. Did I pick him up? His name rings a bell. Oh yes, we did. That's all right. God, I would have looked stupid then, wouldn't I? So that's that's really promising, isn't it? There you go. Mountcastle got five hits, went five for five against the uh, Gulf Coast Cardinals. So, hi, oh, and there you go, Mountcastle. Got player of the week. But let's carry on going. So it's August 24. We're second. We're second in the division. Nine games out from a wildcard spot, and we're second in the division. Six and a half games behind the Mets. I don't like our chances. Did we actually play the Mets uh, again before the season's out? Uh, where are we? Team info scores. Do we play the Mets again? Yes, we, oh, we do. We've got six more games against them. Ooh. Now, that is interesting, isn't it? That's very interesting. We finished with the Phillies. That's a good way to finish. So if we round out the month, because there shouldn't be a great deal happening. We've got a doubleheader today, actually, against the Pirates. I mean, we could have lost Latos, and we could still be in with a shout of, of winning the division. That's incredible. But it doesn't look like now we're eight games back. 61-66. I mean, no chance of making the, the wild card now. But to be second in the division... I mean, how poor is this division? This is shocking. We should be, should be winning it, never mind just treading water in the middle. But that is the month of August. Let's see if anything super exciting has happened. Dayton Dugas, I picked him up in round five of the draft. Yep, there you go, round five. He's got real potential. I really like this guy. What did he do? He went five in six. That's really good. So we seem to be having a very good team, don't we, in the uh, in the Gulf Coast. So that's really look at that forty three seventeen. We've got a pretty good draft, I think. Anything else that we really need? So it's ex roster expansion time. I'll uh, I'll be going over that in the next one. I won't be uh, talking about every single player that we've uh, that we've brought up, but um, I'll certainly be giving a quick rundown of the the main players that I want to uh, uh, talk about. 
Matt Ramsey played very well the other day. He's in double A. He's almost ready for a promotion. I think he's 252. ERA of 163. That's not too bad. Um, let's have a quick look at our team for the year. For the year. For the month. The month of August. Tim, I mean, how good is this guy? 321. I'm so glad I brought him in. Raul Muto is a very good catcher, but I don't think. He's got anything on this guy. He's got possible arbitration at the end of the season. I really like him. He's done so well. Barely made a start for San Diego. And yet he's come to us and just been knocking them all over the joint. Boy, he's cooled off. He batted 250 for the for the month of August. He got a, an average of 300 still. His ops is 780, which isn't too bad, considering he's not got fantastic home run power. Mike Morse has been basically kept out of the lineup for it. He's batting 2 2 2. Um, Dee Gordon, again, he seems to have cooled quite a lot. Bowderspin's come in. He's made nine starts. He's batting 188. He's perhaps a bit out of his depth. Um, but, I mean, the season's basically over for us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Martin Prado, he's finally had a good month. 317. He's done very well. Um, Hecavaria, 262. He just, he just treads water, doesn't he? He's just just always average. He doesn't, doesn't do anything. He can't. He doesn't. Doesn't hit 300, doesn't hit 100, just does nothing. Uh, Danny Santana, he's made a few spot starts. He's batting 250. Now, Brady Shoemaker's come in. Um, he's made six six appearances at the plate. And uh, he's batting 333. I'm quite quite pleased with that. Um, I, I don't know if he's, you know, he's, he's, I don't think he's going to be anything special in the future. Um, Yelich, 278. Azuna, 300. And then Stanton, 298. So this hasn't been a terrible month. Uh, for us, um, in terms of the pitching, let's see how we're going. So Kosart came up. Um, just double check that we are in the month. Kosart he did win two games, but he did lose three. Got three losing decisions as well. Um, I think it's, it must be the control on the stuff because he's he's very erratic. Um, I mean, look, he always gives up so many runs. I mean, his, his ERA, sorry, his, his WHIP for the month. For the year, I will get it out. I will get it right eventually. He's whipped for the year's 149. He's always look, he gives up a lot of walks and hits, so he's he's not not really anything spectacular, is he? Now Sam Dyson, he's doing all right. He's he's nothing. He's not playing terribly. Jose Fernandez, of course, with the ERA of just two, he's fantastic. ERA plus of 177. He's done very, very well, hasn't he? He actually got a losing decision there for his... I think he's... What was that? Oh, yeah, that was the month. Against Atlanta. A 1-0 loss. So he pitched fantastic, and he still lost that one. I mean, look at that. we got two hits. Just Gordon and Hecavaria. That's dreadful. That's really disappointing. Um, in terms of our relievers, Carter Capps made the step up, and he's done very well. He's batting 231. He replaced Mike Dunn, who we lost, of course, in the trade to Texas. Um... Other than that, everyone's doing quite well this month in the pitching. It seems like our starters are a bit bit erratic, but our relievers have, have stepped up to the plate. So that sums up the month of August. Let me know in the comments um, what you thought of that trade. Did I did I come away with a winner, or did I just get ripped off by by Texas? Um, did I make the right decision um, in in getting rid of Latos, or should I have kept him and then tried to re-sign him in in free agency? Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time with the September call-ups. See ya.